Hi guys, we're back and we're gonna attempt to look in our dog rooms. Hopefully we'll actually be able to hear what we're saying. So this way. Now we obviously don't have time to show you all the <coughs> wonderful dogs. <coughs> But we'll start with Mark. He's a uh, pit bull here. He's been here for about three years. And he's the with no other dogs, no other animals. Because he wants to be the only one when you're affected. Um, obviously, we're not going to be able to stay back here for too long because you guys won't be able to hear anything that we're saying. In these dog runs, we can have anywhere from like 20 to 30 dogs, give or take. Usually we have about, I'd say, anywhere from 10 to 20 on a good day. We get a lot of dogs from down south now. We're helping out a lot of rescues from West Virginia and everything. And we'll just show you some of the dogs that are in the kennels now. Just a quick overview. You guys can see on there that they have super comfy beds. They're raised up off of the floor so they're not laying right on the cold part, on the cold concrete that everybody has water <laughs> and everybody has a little name tag with basic information on them when we get guided tours we have either a staff member or a volunteer that comes back here with the public and introduces the dogs to everybody gives them a little bit of background history lets them know if they go with other animals things like that and this is crystal who's very excited to see us apparently she's a dogo argentino mix and she has already graduated from basic obedience uh, training in kindred souls obedience. She is wonderful, perfect little girl. Lo lots of the staff are very fond of her. And she is good with male dogs that will let her be the queen of the household. So, and then we have more cages along this side. These cages are all pretty much around the same size. We do have a couple that are a little bit larger. And we have six cages that are kind of like a double size for when we get in the dogs that are a little too big to be housed in the small cages, and those are around the corner over here. Here you guys can see we have all the larger cages. We have six of them here. And like I said, these are for the guys that would do better in a cage with a little bit more space, whether they're larger or their activity level makes it so that they need a larger cage to live in. Thank you. Miss Bella. <laughs> These are just some more of our guys that are up for adoption. You can see all of these lovely guys on our website with their pictures and a description of their personality and what kind of home they would best fit into. So hopefully you guys are looking into adopting <coughs> Even if you're not looking to bring a dog into your house, something you can always do is bring in blankets and towels and sheets. You can always use them. You guys can see they're going through blankets every single day here. We wash what we can, but we can't always save every single blanket. So anytime that you guys can help us out, bring in some blankets, bring in some towels. It'll go a long, long way here. And I think the next video we're going to show you into the kitten rooms. And that should conclude the shelter tour. See you guys then. <laughs>